Have you ever wondered why the Kohinoor diamond is one of the most coveted gems in the world? This mesmerizing jewel is currently a shining star among the British crown jewels. Its size is mind-boggling and its value? Beyond measure. Yet, the Kohinoor carries with it an enigmatic aura, a whisper of a curse that has trailed its owners through history. But what makes this diamond so notorious? Is it just the size, or does its history hold something more? The history of the Kohinoor diamond is as multifaceted as the gem itself. Discovered in the mines of India, this precious stone has seen many hands and many lands. From the powerful rulers of India, it moved through the conquests of the Persian and Afghan empires, each time changing hands through bloodshed and deceit. Finally, it found its way to the British crown jewels, a sparkling testament to the empire's colonial past. Yet, there's a darker side to this glittering history. A curse is said to accompany the Kohinoor diamond, a curse that brings misfortune to any man who wears it. From the fall of great empires to the personal tragedies of its owners, this curse has left a trail of devastation in its wake. The women who wore it, however, remained unscathed, leading to its place today in the Queen Mother's crown. So, the Kohinoor diamond, a gem of pure brilliance, also carries a dark curse. But can a gem really possess such power? With a history steeped in blood and power, the Kohinoor diamond continues to captivate us. The allure of the gemstone is not without its controversies. There persists a fervent debate, a tug of war of sorts, over its rightful place. Many argue that it should be returned to India, its original home. Others caution, whispering of the curse that has allegedly plagued its owners. So, what do you think? Is the Kohinoor diamond a symbol of colonial plunder or a cursed gem best left untouched? Comment down your opinion like share and subscribe.